Okay, you guys, Teacher Moon here, uh, giving you some homework help for um, assignment T1-6 Bravo, topic 1-6 Bravo. Um, we got five questions, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 18. I am not going to help you with number 13. You're going to need to do that one on your own, but I'm going to show you 10, 11, and 12, and then I am going to give you how to set up 18 and show you how to work through it. Um, but you also need to practice that open-ended math strategy that's uh, posted at the bottom of the page there in gray. So number 10, remember the first thing we have to do is convert these mixed numbers to improper fractions. So our strategy for that is our denominator times our whole number plus our numerator over the denominator that's already there. So 2 times 3 gives us 6, 6 plus 1 gives us 7, and that's going to be over top of the 2 that's already there. That is being divided by, we already know it's going to be a 6 at the bottom. And for the top, 6 times 3 is 18 plus 1 is 19. So we have 7 over 2 divided by 19 over 6, which equals 7 over 2 times 6 over 19, because we did our keep change flip. Now we're going to multiply straight across. 7 times 6, that's going to give us 42. 2 times 19 is going to give us... 38. All right. We can pull the 38 out of the 42 one time. And 42 minus 38 leaves us with 4 38s, which we can then simplify into 1. And 38 is divisible by 4. No, it's not. But it's divisible by 2. So that's going to be 1 and 2 19s is our answer for number 10. All right, for number 11, again, we're converting from mixed numbers to improper fractions. 6 times 2 gives us 12, plus 5 gives us 17 over 6. And that's going to be divided by 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 gives us 10 over 3, which equals 17 over 6 times 3 over 10. 6 times 10 is very easily 60. That's 17 times 3. That takes a little bit more work. I'm going to do 20 times 3, which is 60, minus 9 gives me 51. 51 over 60. Both of those numbers are divisible by 3. So, um, let's see, 60 divided by 3 leaves me with 20. And 51 divided by 3 leaves me with, I don't know off the top of my head. I probably should, though. 51 divided by 3, 3 goes into 5, 1 time, 2 to 1, 17. 17 over 20, which cannot be simplified even any further. Um, number 12, same process. Denominator times the whole number plus the numerator. So 6 times 3 gives us 18 plus 5 gives us 23 over 6 divided by 22 over 5 equals 23 over 6 times 5 over 22. Okay. Um, so now we've got 23 times 5 which I definitely don't know off the top of my head. 23 times 5 is 5 times 1, 115. Over top of 22 times 6, um, 6 times 2 is 12, over 1, 13, 115 over 132. Okay, and... I'm going to leave that right there just like that. Um, number 13, I'm not doing, but you see the process? It goes the exact same way. I, I, don't, I don't think they have a factor. I will double check that. And now let's look at number 18. Underline what you know and circle what the question is asking. Elsa's remodeling the bathroom floor. She's going to use tile that is four ninths of a foot long. The bathroom is seven and one third foot long. So we're dividing that seven and one third foot by four ninths. Okay, and the question is asking us how many tiles we need to cover the length of the bathroom. And that 
That question is what tells us what we're dividing. So we need to convert this to an improper fraction, and the other number is already not a mixed number, so we'll be fine. 3 times 7 is 21, plus 1 gives us 22 over 3, divided by 4 over 9, or times 9 over 4. Okay, we're going to go ahead and multiply straight across. 22 times 9, I certainly don't know off the top of my head. So 2 times 9 is 18, carry 1, 18 again, 19, 198. That's 198 over 3 times 4 gives us 12, which in turn equals 198 divided by 12. And I'm going to put that in long division form. 198. 12 does not go into 1. 12 does go into, as a matter of fact, let's do our other form for long division. Let's practice that. We'll say uh, 10 times 12 gives us 120. And we'll subtract that. 8 minus 0 is 8. 9 minus 2 is 7. All right, 78 there. Um, let's say 5. No, let's say 6. 6 times 12 gives us 72. So 78 minus 72 leaves us with 6. All right, so 10 plus 6 gives us 16, and the remainder is 6 over 12, because that's the denominator that's already there. And that simplifies into 16 and 1 half. So the answer is that Elsa is going to need 16 and a half tiles just to go one time across the bathroom floor. And everyone have a nice evening.